The oh. thing is, I, I, I'm hoping we can be probably saying, well, you're trying to rush us here. I'm trying to get this done so I can get this ready for court. And then once this is over with, I'm done with this whole thing. I don't want to be bothered with, leaving the fuck alone. I'm done. I'm done. You know, uh, Bledsoe and Rivers, know how long it took, well, Bledsoe and Lonnie Kern, know how long it took on the Armstrong case? Six years. Mm -hmm. Six years. This is what happened with Cooper. When I got mad at him, i do this to him or his mother, whatnot. Then about a week went by, I'm like, look, dog, we good. And I was a little bit upset. Then I said, well, you're trying to get a lawsuit, ain't you? Said, yeah. So well, how about this? Let me put a, a noose around your neck. You pretend you pass out. First, it started off that he was going to be trying to work out, sit down because he was tired. And I'm going to do a fucking Roy Rogers on him, I guess. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the odds on that really happening, the way those red cages are like fucking slim to none. Right. So I go, look it. I explained to him how we're going to do it. And I said, look it, when we get out there, I'm going to ask you certain questions so you can pass a polygraph. I was bullshitting them. You know what I mean? So when I want to get you out there and say, hey, I'm making me a religious necklace. Can I put it around your neck? And he's like, sure. You know what I mean? And then I, then he yelled out to um, Sparrow, because I asked Sparrow, I said, what do you remember? I, was, I wasn't trying to lead Sparrow. Right. But I had, I had to tell him, didn't you remember him saying that? I finally had to get, oh yeah, I remember that now. Anyways, he yells to Sparrow, hey, how big is your junk? Whatever they, they call junk, like the cross thing. And he said, that's big and this and that. And I said, now, you ready? He goes, yeah. So he sat down, the last words were, don't kill me. He did not know he was gonna get killed. That's why they were saying all this. I'm like, where the hell would they get this assisted suicide shit? Last words, don't kill me. I sent out a letter to state police, McClanahan. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sent him a letter, July 28th. Yeah. yeah. Remember, that's why I come over here yep. because Marcus was gone. Yep. Um, like I said. But basically, Cooper's thing was he was going to get a transfer to Lobson out of it. He thought. Yeah. Okay. Said he's uh, okay because I think you told me that once before, but well, no, sure. you you guys brought it up to me before, and I'm like, yep, someone's talk. I'm sure you see, you see an expression on my face. You know what I mean? I'm like, he's right. a mother, fucking someone's talking. Son right. of a bitch! How many people did he tell? Well, you know? Yeah. And um, so I was trying to like, well, kind of. You, you know, I was beating around the bush. You know, I was bullshitting. Even I knew you guys. You know, what I mean, come on. He was, he was trying to get the lawsuit, okay. and, and it wasn't assisted suicide, he wasn't trying to kill himself, but um, that there, I think, is going to kill his mother's lawsuit. Okay. Or, well, won't get as much, I guess. Um, I'm trying to talk to Cooper's mother's attorney now, Mary Lynn Tate. Um, I'm going to say, well, yeah, I, I warned him, but the thing is, he, he was trying to Trying to get a lawsuit. He was gonna do pass out thing, this is the thing. I told him to hold his breath, pass out, because what's gonna happen is when they pull you in, I said, I'm sure Yates is gonna ask you, or you can offer a polygraph test, and you can pass it. You can pass it. Gleason ask you, hey, I'm making a religious nexus. Can I put this on you? Because these are the things I did. I ran it through him so he could pass it. Right. You know what I mean? And um, he was like, all right. I said, now, did they say, I choked you out? What do you gotta do? You gotta hold your breath. That's why he didn't fight, he passed out. I said, take a deep breath, then hold it, and I'll just tighten it up. And as soon as he went out, that's when I yanked him. Little D, the reason why he did this with his ear, because he knew before we went out there, I said, look it, I want you to stay in that corner, right, so the camera don't see you. Once he's completely done that you think, just go like this with your ear. He was so nervous, he started running around the track. Right? I'm like, oh my, I'm laughing at him. Right? I'm like, God damn, dude. So, hey, Dave, he dead. Pull on your ear. And that's when he went like, <laughs> like that. He almost pulled his goddamn ear off. Well, because, it, you know, I wanted to kill a little bastard. And right now, he doesn't realize I was going to kill him. I'm sure when he knew I was getting mad at Cooper, and he, he backed out. He was. Lil B wasn't gonna let me put the noose around his neck. I was gonna kill him. 
And then when Cooper started shit, I'm like, I'll kill that motherfucker. I think, you know what, Bob? I'm kind of upset. I don't think I want you to put that around my neck. <laughs> and he said that. And I can, I can get all of this out on tape. Right. Now, let, let me ask you something. Is that Aiden in the bed? Him making that, all that? Probably a cough of cum was. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a call above, above my pay grade. Yeah. I mean, if he made it, he knew it. That's that, that's something that they'll, they'll like I said, somebody yeah. above my pay grade will have to make that decision. Because if they do charge them, I would like to get a whole video on me on a test, whatever, because after this is over with, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry you're tired of this crap, I Yeah, I'm sure you guys are tired of coming up here too. 